We need to check certificate attack on Ryan because again, that changes each time with the vulnerable. And then if that doesn't work, we would have to run and check for Privisk again using Ryan because even though it's the same host, right, same IP, there might be different rights over any services, etc. So yeah, let me run that, uh, certify. But this time it is Ryan Cooper. and nuclear mosquito. Let's do like so. Now we're only looking for a vulnerable, but then this is a very good way to do it each time you get a new set of credentials. So hopefully he has any actual interesting access. Because we know that there are at least um, three main admins, the main admins. There we go. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, what I was going to show earlier, we we remember that there were several uh, there were several hits that had the uh, domain user, for instance. And in this case, right, Ryan is not a domain admin, nor an enterprise admin, but he is a part of the domain users group. And in this case, it was configured in such a way that Ryan can actually uh, modify this template user authentication. So that's good. So this is the easy one. So that's great. So what I like to do when it comes to certify is that I simply just like to go to this wiki each time because it makes it simple. And then easy one is the first one. Mm. Frequently discovered and exploited as ADCS vulnerability. Okay, so let's see what we have to do to actually exploit it. Mm. And we can also save this output because we need some information. Let me just name it third. Okay. So I think pretty much see your pen. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That doesn't seem difficult at all. Mm. Not many steps. Some of these are way longer. So let's see. Ryan Cooper. SQL. Attack the box. The password of Ryan is this. The domain code for IP is this, and then we need the target, right? So this is essentially the follow qualified domain name. We can find this in this output. That's why I like to save it like so. And there we go. I believe that should be correct. And this is the certificate authority name. And now the template that was vulnerable is the user authentication template. SQL hack the box, let's say.
to specify the vulnerable template and provide a UPN set of this higher target account, right? So that will be administrator for us. Um, so we can always go and look at Cypher queries like so. And then check the domain admins. And we can see that the administrator is in the main admin. So we can go after that. And I think that should be correct. Let's attempt this. Host time dial to strap ping it. It is alive. Let's try running it again. There we go. That was correct. Now we can try authenticating it with this template right here with the modified uh, UPN user principal name. Let's try to request it using this uh, certificate and we will try to get the TGT and if it works successfully, we will be able to get the NT hash of the administrator. Clock skew too great, right? So we've seen this before. Mm. Let's attempt that again. There we go. And there is the anti hash for the administrator. Administrator. And then instead of the, the password, we can use uh, dash ha hashes flag and then add the empty hash. And then we can attempt to get over the SMB protocol using PSXEC. And because this is a administrator, we now have access as administrator or anti authority system. So yeah, hope you guys learned something from this video and it was useful. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. but. Once you have completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle, where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.